Christmas, I, my wife Shelly and I uh, created the Stamp Ease tool right here in New Bern, North Carolina at our pottery studio, Bare Hands Art Factory. I'd like to um, show you how to assemble it right now, and then a little bit later, Shelly is going to show you how to use the pottery tool uh, to stamp your, um, your pottery. So we do have foam, which we will show you a little bit later, that comes in the package, and we have a base. We've got a couple of different sized dowels, a wheel head assembly, and of course the instructions on how to use it and how to assemble it here. Um, so what you can do, first of all, when you do um, pull out the base, is inside the base you're going to find one uh, wood screw and you're going to find some feet that can be applied to the bottom of the base here if you feel that you need that stability on that. Um, the screw is designed to hold the dowels into the base. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just fasten this small uh, dowel to the base. Get that all put in there nice and snug. Okay. And so we do have the, um, the, the base put in. And as you can see, this adjustable wheel head adjusts so that the different size pottery that you make can be stamped properly on this thing. And so now we're going to have Shelly show you how to um, use the stampies um, in all kinds of ways. Hi, I'm Shelly Mathiot, uh, co-inventor of the stampies, and I wanted this um, because I had a problem with stamping my pottery, especially if I was doing a large group of pots. Um, sometimes I would want to stamp them when they were a little too soft, and sometimes I wanted to stamp them when they were a little too hard. Uh, same doing 100 mugs. It was really hard to catch them all at the same stage, and this little device supports the bottom of your pot while you're stamping it. Uh, now I have it set up just for everyday little pots right now. It's just the wheel assembly is on the dowel, the short dowel. I have the little foam down here, but I don't really need it. For lightweight objects like this little uh, mug, well, soon to be mug, there's no handle yet, but I just put it, I put it right down there and let it hang. There's no problem with lightweight things. And then um, if it was really sticky or still wet, I'd put a little bit of cornstarch on top. But this one is leather hard, ready to be stamped, just about perfect. So I'm just gonna, that the stamp um, supports right here in the middle. I'm gonna put my stamp there. I'm going to press, and I have a real complicated stamp. So I have to really rotate it and press. And then I've got my stamp. And there's no cracking and no problems with it. See, can you see that? There you go, very complex stamp, easy. Here I have a little vase and we're going to measure it and make sure that we get the Stampy's wheel assembly at the right height to support it. The foam is on here also to protect your rim while you're stamping. Simply take a ruler, place it on the bottom of the pot, and then I use a little chopstick or a measuring stick of some sort and place it against there. And I can see now that it's about five and one quarters inches deep. Now I'm going to measure from the foam to the top of the wheel head assembly and I'm going to give it a little spin and make it a little taller so that it's five and one quarters inches tall. Okay, so I think I've got it about right and I'm gonna put it on here upside down and I should get some support from the rim and some, there, good, that's really good. I can feel it. So how you feel it is if it feels sturdy, it's touching the foam and you, it's not hanging and wobbling around a lot. You can feel that it's supporting, the support is on the bottom. You can kind of feel the difference. And you can play around with yours when you get it. You know, make it too loose and make it too, make it taller, get the feel for it. Then once you've got some support on there and you know, I, I kind of like to place it back a little bit so I can get the stamp on the side a little bit, not right in the middle, because that's where I like to stamp my pots. And you place your stamp on and you give it a nice, firm, confident stamp. And it's that easy. Now we're going to stamp a little bit larger bowl. And that's where this nice foam comes in place. It protects the rim of your bowl when you turn it upside down. So you measure the inside of your bowl from the base to the rim. And let's see, we've got it about a little bit less than five inches. And now I'm going to measure from the foam to the top of the wheel head assembly and 
I'm going to adjust it. There we go. And we'll turn it over and place it right here and get it resting on the foam and the wheel head assembly. So I've got a little bit of, of, of uh, support from both the foam and the wheel head assembly. I could feel that the bowl is not wobbling around and spinning, um, so it's not resting entirely on um, the wheel head assembly. There's a foam is giving it some support. Uh, and then when my bowls are a little bit stickier, I just put a little bit of cornstarch here so that my stamp doesn't stick in. There we go. And I'm going to get my, there we go. I can get my stamp right there on top where I can feel the wheel head assembly is and stamp in nice and confidently. Get a nice stamp. Okay, there we go. And that's how we do it. Okay, so now we're going to stamp another item. And maybe you um, will have a, this problem in your studio. Say you throw a narrow necked um, vessel like this bottle with um, it's too it's too narrow for this dowel to go through the wheelhead assembly is too wide so what we're going to do is we're going to use the tall dowel because this is a tall bottle um, and I've got on this thing this little felt cap it's a furniture um, cap that goes on the bottoms of chairs um, it's, met, it's got some felt on it I think my husband got it at the hardware store so it fits this perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press this on, fit it on there nicely, okay? And I'm going to put my bottle over this. And now I have some support and I can stamp it. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to stamp a bowl. Now, not every bowl is gonna be big enough. This, you know, you're gonna need all this support, but this is here, this large interlocking foam is here just in case um, you're making extra big bowls. I've got an average size bowl here with me today. Um, not huge, not tiny. And I'm gonna show you how to work with it. First, you're gonna measure about how deep your bowl is from the base inside to the rim okay so, and i've measured it it's about three inches okay so if i look at this i see up oh, this is like five and a five and a quarter inches the, the, so the bowl is going to hang because it's too this stem is too tall for it then that's why i have lots of extra foam around the studio so i'm going to put this two pieces of foam on either side and if you measure from the foam up to the top now it's about three inches give or take Okay, so now I'll try putting this bowl upside down on the middle of the stampies and the foam is supporting the rim so you don't have it hanging uh, precariously and you can kind of get it centered, you can eyeball it and it's giving, the foam is giving a little bit of support. Now if it was a larger, deeper bowl, this foam down here would support your rim. So now I'm going to go ahead, I don't need any cornstarch on this one because it's relatively dry and I'm just going to stamp it and I can feel the support under it so it just gives me confidence so that I can really press that stamp in there nicely and this one's a little drier but I've got a nice stamp on there so you can see the details are pretty good and this bowl is on the dry side okay so that's how you do a bowl okay so now I'm going to show you one more use for your stampies I'm sure you'll think of others but uh, say you have to decorate a bowl and you don't want to use your banding wheel, maybe you don't have a banding wheel. Well, this can act as a sort of support arm or a third arm for you. Now I've got a bisque bowl here and I wanted to decorate the outside of the bowl. So I went ahead and lined it first. Um, I like to get my lining out of the way because sometimes you get a drip or you get a, you know, une unevenness and you need to wipe it. Um, or you get like a little line there and you want to take care of all the, this before you go and do all the decorations. So I'm just going to double check my line, make sure it all looks good. And I'm going to be covering this with a, a kind of a foundation glaze. And then I'm going to be doing, you know, some painting on it with some other uh, glazes. And I don't want it to, um, I, don't, I didn't want this inside glaze to go spilling on. So I'm gonna put it upside down like this 
and I can decorate it like this. I can get my brush out and just start going and turn it and not have to worry about the rim getting chipped. I have a, a, a something holding it up. Now, if I wanted, for example, I wanted it higher for some reason, maybe you're taller or maybe you like working at a different angle, you can just switch it out and use the larger dowel um, and make it taller for you, whatever angle is good for you to work at. But this foam doesn't touch, doesn't bother the um, glaze at all. You can just put it right on there and your glaze is good. And you can just start decorating your bowl. This is very handy way to go. Okay, here's the last tip for those of you who hung on to the very end of this video. You can customize your stampies a little bit if you really need to. For example, if you have really short little pots and you they're really wide and you want some extra support, you can actually cut this short dowel down a little bit so that when you put it in, it's closer to your foam and you can stamp your wide shallow bowls with ease. So actually I'm thinking about having um, Chris make another one for me that's a little shorter. because I like to make some of those wide serving bowls and they're real shallow. So that would be perfect to do that. We tried to make a good range for what we thought would be the average user and everybody's different. That's what makes pottery so great. So what if you also make like really gigantic pots? You've got this ginormous tall pot and this is not tall enough for it. You can get a dowel, go down to the hardware store, go down to Lowe's, wherever, and get a, is it one quarter? One, one and a quarter. One and a quarter, mm -hmm. sorry. One and a quarter inch dowel, and cut it however long you want it, and pop it into the base. Um, you can put a screw hole in or not, depending on how serious you wanna be about your customization. But you can put that larger pole in there for your really tall pots. Um, and it's really handy, especially if you have softer uh, clay and you need to get it all stamped. And remember, you could put this handy dandy furniture, a leg protector thingy on there, and that will give you a soft surface to stamp on. Just kind of jam it on there, hmm, easy. And voila, you have a customization. And we hope you enjoy using the stampies. And please give us comments below, um, nice comments about the stampies, and happy potting. Hi, my name is Chris Mathiot, and what what are we selling? <laughs> okay. okay, here's our last tip for those of you who've watched the entire video. Here's a little bonus. Um, this tip, this um, never mind. <laughs> Let me try again. Where's the wine? <laughs> Hi, I'm Shelly, and today we're going to use the Stampies for, never mind, did I do something wrong? You it, gave me that look. You yes, gave me that face. I gave you the look because you've already introduced Just, yourself. Okay, stop oh, it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, for those of you who have um, hung on no, to the end minute. of the video. Cut, cut, Shelly, Shelly, oh, the, the wine. wine. The wine, okay. Try that again. Ruler, put it on the base, get your chopstick. And Shelly, Shelly, it's not a chopstick. Not a chopstick. Oh, it's not a chopstick. It's a. Um, it's it's a thingy, skewer. It's a thingy. skewer, Shelly. A it's skewer. a skewer. Uh, can I have some wine? Where's the wine? Ah, we made it. We made it.